Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Draymond Green on race for play-in, I don't give a damn about the Rockets. The Golden State Warriors are in danger of falling out of the play-in altogether. Following the Warriors' loss Sunday to the Timberwolves, Golden State is just one game up on Houston for the final play-in slot, a Rockets team that has won eight straight games and is surging. While the Warriors own the tiebreaker between the teams and have an easier schedule the rest of the way, Golden State is trending in the wrong direction, having gone 4-6 to six in its last 10. With 12 games to go, the Rockets are very much in play for a postseason berth and the April 4 game between these teams looms large. How much is Draymond Green worried about the Rockets? I don't give a damn about the Rockets. For some context, Green's point is that the Warriors have to take care of themselves and their own business, not worry about another team. We lose a lot of games we should win. In this league, you have to win the games, that, you're supposed to win and steal a few that you're not supposed to win. But if you lose the ones you're supposed to win, you're in for a long year. When you have to win and you don't, it sucks. In order to win, you have to build good habits. I don't think we have great habits. Until you play with the great habits at all times, you lose. Green's point about the Warriors needing to worry about getting themselves right is a valid one, take care of their business and the Rockets aren't a problem. But it's okay to be worried a little about Houston. What's impressive about the Rockets' win streak is that the last six of those wins came after Alperin Sengen, the team's breakout star center and a hub of their offense, went down with a season-ending injury. Jalen Green has averaged 26.5 points per game during this run, while rookie Amen Thompson has added 16.4 points a game on 64.2% shooting in the last five. The young Rockets are stepping up for Iami Yudoka, the Warriors have not shown that resilience. Steph Curry reacts after getting benched in the fourth quarter. The Golden State Warriors are sliding when it matters the most. The Houston Rockets are lurking around and are just one game behind them in the race for the number 10 seed. That's why dropping back-to-back -back games against playoff teams was a bit of a catastrophe for Steve Kerr's team. Notably, the veteran coach drew plenty of criticism for sitting Stephen Curry for over 10 minutes in a close game against the Minnesota Timberwolves, especially considering the fact that he was balling out before heading to the bench. The Warriors eventually fell short, and their postseason chances are in jeopardy right now. Following the game, Curry admitted that he was a little bit surprised to see that he was rested for such a big stretch, via Warriors on NBC Sports. Then again, he also said that things didn't work out when he played the entire fourth quarter against the Indiana Pacers, so perhaps they would have to find some middle ground. The fact of the matter is that the Warriors aren't a championship contender right now. They might not even be a playoff team. The roster seemed flawed from the very beginning of the season, and new GM Mike Dunleavy Jr. was either unable or unwilling to address it throughout the course of the campaign. The Warriors have some deep soul-searching to do in the offseason, and they might have to make some tough decisions as well. As things stand now, even if they wind up making the play-in tournament, they're most likely not going to find much success. Draymond Green reacts to LeBron James claiming IQ was why the Warriors beat the Celtics in the 2022 NBA Finals. LeBron James recently stated on his Mind the Game podcast that IQ was the reason the Golden State Warriors beat the Boston Celtics in the 2022 NBA Finals. To an extent, Draymond Green agrees with his good friend, but the 34-year-old shares some more reasons for why the Warriors won. That to a certain degree is very true, Green said on the Draymond Green show. I think we definitely had a higher IQ at the time. But I think it's more than just a higher IQ though, we had a higher IQ, for sure, but it's also IQ in the moment, in these situations. Green claims you can have a higher IQ but the moment can still get a bit too big for you. You get in these playoffs sometimes, and this is the NBA Finals we're talking about, sometimes those lights can get a little bit brighter than you expected, Green continued. And then they were much younger, 
had never been there. Had been to the Eastern Conference Finals, but had never been there. So, I think our basketball IQ was higher. I think at that time also, our coaching staff's basketball IQ was higher, the adjustments that we made throughout that series, it made all the difference. Green thinks the team and their coaching staff's higher IQ and experience of having been on that big stage previously played a big part. The Warriors, of course, had made the NBA Finals in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019 prior to that season. For the Celtics, meanwhile, it was the first trip in the Jason Tatum-Jalen Brown era. They went up 2-1 to one in the series and led in the fourth quarter of Game 4, but crumbled down the stretch to lose. The Warriors would then win the next two games as well, to win the series in six games. Green struggled mightily at the start of the series but came into his own at the end. He finished with averages of 6.2 points, 8.0 rebounds, 6.2 assists, 1.7 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game in the finals to win his fourth NBA championship. Tatum admitted later the Warriors were mentally tougher than the Celtics in the finals and that it was a hard pill for him to swallow. With that experience now under their belts, though, you would expect the Celtics to handle the moment better should they make it back to the biggest stage. On his podcast, LeBron was stressing about the importance of basketball IQ and stated that it is what separates teams when you get to the conference finals and the NBA finals. It was then that he brought up the 2022 NBA finals. I believe that when Golden State beat Boston, it came down to IQ in the finals, LeBron said. Because Boston, to me, had the better talent. Boston had the better talent. But it came down to IQ. People say experience IQ. While making that admission about the Warriors being mentally tougher, Tatum had said he felt the teams were evenly matched from a talent standpoint. James did not feel that was the case and thought it came down to one team having a higher basketball IQ. The NBA has changed a lot over the past several years. The league's popularity has ebbed and flowed since the end of the Michael Jordan era, especially since there have been many repeat champions in the past 10 years. However, with the continued rise of social media's influence in the sport, the NBA is starting to rise in popularity again, which has made for some great moments lately. One example of this is Anthony Edwards' recent posterizing dunk over John Collins, a clip that quickly went viral. This demonstrates the power of today's game and how much social media can influence the league's popularity. Another avenue that players have recently taken is via podcasting. They feel like this is a way for them to interact with other NBA players and fans, also generating another source of revenue. Some podcasts are more popular and successful than others. Draymond Green happens to have one of the more popular NBA podcasts, but, as he indicated in a video shared via the volume, there is one elusive guest that is starting to frustrate him. I must say I am a little upset that LeBron James is like going on the podcasts and he still hasn't been on the Draymond Green show, Green said. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of LeBron James? Leave your opinion in the comments.